What's up guys, Me Time Gaming here bringing you another video and this time it's for it's more of an explanation video to explain to you my review scale that I use for rating games when I, as you can see recently I released a new series called Elevator, Elevator Pitch Reviews. Basically basically if you haven't seen that yet, the only review I have so far up on the YouTube channel right now about Quantum Break, uh, which I on this review scale which you'll see in a couple of minutes, seconds, I gave it a buy it. We'll see what that means in a couple of seconds, like I just said. Uh, basically I was, was tired of giving to estimate a game on the 20 point scale because i was using up to 10 and giving 0.5s to the game and it was always hard because if you look at my reviews that i have at metimegamer.com past reviews i've uh, written reviews i've did um you see some of the games that are reviewed a little higher than others and that doesn't mean necessarily mean that game was better than the other one it just means that's how i felt what the game deserved and stuff like that but it's always very subjective compared to uh, you what you might feel or another people might feel about a certain game some people might like like give a 10 to a certain game when another person might give it a 6 or a 2. So I decided that instead of doing that, uh, I, I created my own review scale, a uh, five, 5 category review scale um, based on what the game, how the game performs and all that. So right now we'll go through what my review scale is so when you see uh, later review uh, elevator pitch reviews you guys will understand what my review scale means. Alright, so the first category in my review scale is called must have it. This score is the top of the, of the top in the scoring ladder. The game that receives this score is one of that has uh, some flaws, but knows how to captivate the player with either its graphic, gameplay, mechanism, music, or anything that makes the game practically perfect. It usually consists of multiple of these criteria. These games, like the score suggests, is a must-have in any gamer's collection, and is usually a game that can live on can live the test of time. The next category is buy it. Games rec uh, receiving scores of buy, uh, buy it are usually more stricken with unwanted mistakes, but still gets the player's attention with great gameplay and captivating mechanism. The effort of the developer is still given good credit for a good game that usually has a lot of playability in the long run. The next game in my, uh, in my review scale uh, is called Rent It. You might want to hold on to your $70 instead of buying these games because you might be disappointed for that price. Although the game might be entertaining for some, it might be the type of game that you could, you either rent, if that is still a possibility of course, or you buy at a lower price when it's on sale or something. Usually these games have not the best graphic, poor story, or maybe maybe bad mechanism. Uh, maybe have some good, some good, but in the end, don't spend your hard earned money on it. The next category on my review scale is called Borrow It. Have you ever seen a game at your friend's house and wonder what is that game? Yeah, it can happen that you don't catch all the games, but it might be that the developer did a stealth release to make other reviews or criticism go unnoticed. If you ever just see the score on a game, don't even spend your hard-earned money on it. If you sit somewhere for free or your friend has it, maybe borrow it and try it out. No guarantees you'll like it, but who knows. The last category, and this is the bottom of the barrel, is called Skip It. These games are usually broken and unplayable. You might play these games and wonder, why did I even bother wasting my time with this game? Who knows, you might get a laugh or two. But don't count on being a game you'll pick up more than once. Alright guys, that's it for my review scale. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if, you, if you have any critiques or uh, suggestions or anything for the review scale, please hit, leave a comment below. I would really appreciate that. You can also like and subscribe to the channel. I would really enjoy if you did that. That really helps out. Uh, you can also um, follow me Twitter at MeTimeGamer. You can follow me Twitch.tv forward slash MeTimeGamer. Uh, I try to stream every day at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, usually a variety of games. And you can also follow me at facebook.com forward slash me time gamer and right here, youtube.com forward slash me time gamer. Thank you so much for, wa for watching this video, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.